Hey everybody, Mr. Poller here. In this video, we're going to take a look at a FET simulation investigating the pH scale. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the simulation. So I'm gonna open it up here. And um, so previously we have looked at the macro level um, understanding of pH scale. In this video, we're going to take a look at the micro level understanding. So when I open this up, we can see um, a number of things that are being uh, presented to us about pH. Uh, first, we can see that the solution or the liquid that's been placed into the container is water. And we see that it has a measured pH of seven. That's a neutral pH. Some additional things that I see, the quantity of water that's listed as 55 moles. We also have the concentration for the hydronium ions now, hydronium ions are what's formed because of hydrogen ions in water. So a hydrogen ion, H+, will combine with a water molecule to form hydronium. So really, hydronium ion, hydrogen ion are talking about the same thing. The concentration of hydrogen ions in this water is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7. The other ion that's present is the hydroxide ion, OH-. That's also found at a concentration of 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7. So this means that the concentration of acid ions, H3O+, plus, hydrogen ions, is the same as the base ions, the OH-. Minus. And um, if I check this feature, the H3O plus OH minus ratio, I can see that it's a balanced ratio of hydronium ions and hydroxide ions. And this is why the pH is neutral at seven. I can also display a molecule count. So we can see that the hydronium ions present in this amount of water is 3.01 times 10 to the 16. The hydroxide ions in the middle are also 3.01 times 10 to the 16. And the water molecules, there's a lot more of those. That's 1.66 times 10 to the 25. The reason why the number is so much smaller for the hydronium ions and the hydroxide ions is that it's just a small percentage of water molecules that dissociate or break apart to form ions. To calculate pH, you'll take the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. For water, that would be found by doing this. We're taking the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration, which was 1 times 10 to the negative 7. Close my parentheses, and I see that this calculates as a pH of 7. The number of hydrogen ions in the water solution was 3.01 times 10 to the 16. So if I take 3 times 10 to the 16, and I divide that by Avogadro's number, 6.022, but I'm just going to round it off to 6 times 10 to the 23, this is the number of moles that were present in that solution. If I divide that by the volume, half a liter, I calculate the concentration of 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter. The numbers work out to be exactly the same for the hydroxide ions. If I take the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration, minus log 1 times 10 to the negative 7, this is the hydroxide ion concentration, I'll also get an answer of 7. This is something we call the pOH. Now, for any solution, the pH plus the pOH will be equal to 14. Let's go ahead and look at the um, concentrations for some of these ions if we're looking at different um, substances rather than just water. So I'm going to choose battery acid. Now, battery acid, you can see, has a very low pH. It's measuring 1.00. And we can see that the numbers of hydronium and hydroxide ions are very different here. The hydronium ion concentration is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 1. Uh, that would be 0 0.1. The hydroxide ion concentration is much smaller, 1.0 times 10 to the minus 13. If I look at the balance or the ratio of those ions, you can see that the red hydronium ions are almost everything in that battery acid. 
the amount of hydroxide ions is really, really, really low. And this is what we see in solutions that are acids. If I look at the molecule count, we can see that there are 3.01 times 10 to the 22 uh, molecules of hydronium. And there are 3.01 times 10 to the 10 of hydroxide ions. So the amount of hydronium ions is much greater. And this is what we see in solutions that are acids. We can calculate the pH of the battery acid by taking the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration, which was 1 times 10 to the negative 1. It calculates to be 1. Alternately, I could take the negative log of 0 0.1. And you can see that that calculates to be a pH of 1. The hydroxide ion concentrations in the battery acid, if we take the negative log of that, it's 1 times 10 to the negative 13. And that calculates to a pOH of 13. So pH 1 plus pOH of 13 is equal to a total of 14. Now, where do those concentration values come from? There were 3 times 10 to the 22 hydronium ions in the battery acid. If I divide that by Avogadro's number, this is the number of moles. And if I divide that by the number of liters, I'll get a concentration of 0 0.1, which is the same thing as 1 times 10 to the minus 1. Taking the number of hydroxide ions present in the battery acid, 3 times 10 to the 10, dividing by Avogadro's number of 6 times 10 to the 23, produces the number of moles, 5 times 10 to the minus 14. If I divide this by the volume, half a liter, I find the concentration of hydroxide ions was 1 times 10 to the minus 13. And that agrees with what we saw in the FET simulation. Let's look at a base. So I'm going to choose drain cleaner. Now, in drain cleaner, you can see that the ratios of hydronium ions and hydroxide ions are switched. Now the hydronium ion concentration is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 13. And the hydroxide ion concentration is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 1. So this is the, the reverse of what we saw in the battery acid. Let me put it back to drain cleaner here. Okay, now if I check on the boxes again to show the ratio, we can see that in the drain cleaner, the majority of the ions are hydroxide ions, where in the battery acid, the majority of the ions were the hydronium ions. Majority hydronium ions means an acid. Majority of hydroxide ions means a basic solution. If I look at the molecule count, again, it is those same numbers, but they are reversed. The hydronium ion numbers are 3.01 times 10 to the 10. The hydroxide ion numbers 3.01 times 10 to the 22. If we select a couple other solutions to look at, I'm going to choose soda pop. The hydronium ion concentration is 3.2 times 10 to the minus 3. The hydroxide ion concentration is 3.2 times 10 to the minus 12 moles per liter. The number of hydronium ions in soda pop in a half liter of soda pop is 9.52 times 10 to the 20th. The number of hydroxide ions is 9.52 times 10 to the 11. Let's look at one more solution here. So we'll look at blood. So in blood, we see that the numbers are closer, but there is a difference. We see that the hydronium ion concentration is 4.0 times 10 to the minus 8 moles per liter. The hydroxide ion concentration is 2.5 times 10 to the minus 7. So because we do have a higher, slightly higher concentration of hydroxide ions, this is a solution that we would label as being slightly basic. So if we want to find the pH value for blood, we need to take the negative log of 4 times 10 to the negative 8. Close my parentheses, and I find a value of 
7.4, which agrees with what the FET simulation told us. I can also calculate the pOH from the hydroxide ion concentration. So if I take the negative log of 2.5 times 10 to the negative 7, I'll calculate a pOH of 6.6. .6. Now the pH of 7.4 plus the pOH of 6.6 .6 equals 14. And this will always be true for any solution. The pH plus the pOH will equal 14. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to get updates on all the new science content that I'm creating and posting to my YouTube channel. 